all right everyone welcome back thanks for stopping by i appreciate it um some of you guys wanted some more videos i'm gonna bring them to you so welcome back um so yesterday i went over how to rough in a receptacle with one wire today i'm going to show you how to rough in a receptacle with two wires so i have my wire here from yesterday and i'm going to use the other end of this wire um just so i don't have to cut, make any cuts i'm just going to use the other end of this little roll of 100 foot wire so i'm going to strip this out real quick um actually i'm going to need probably a foot so i probably will have to cut this um because i'm going to need some pigtails here for a second so i'll probably just make a like a one foot pigtail if you can't see anything so i'm going to cut that and then i'm going to strip this back right here so about right here that might be more than enough I and mean, like I said yesterday, you can either strip strip your wires before you put it in the box or after. It really just depends on what you like. There's not one way to do this, whatever works for you. So I have my two sets of wires right here. And I'm probably just gonna try to stick this through the staple from yesterday. It might take a second longer, but you can make it work. Um, also, I can just pull this back a little bit. I'll just put both of them through there just to make it look good. So I'm using my angled head diagonal cutters right here just to uh, pull that staple out a little bit because um, you can put two Romex wires on under one staple. Um, so first I'm going to put this one in here. Usually you would just um, usually you would just put your wires in and then staple it. But because the staple's already here, I'm doing it the hard way to save myself some money here. Um, so once I get my first wire in there, just keep that flat with the stud. And then the second one right here, just gonna go right on top, right on through the staple here. And then right into the box over here. So once you get your quarter inch in the box, you can stop. And then I will just tap this down a little bit. It's probably not gonna be the strongest, but there you go. There's your two wires going into the box. And there's two different ways you can do this. Um, it just really depends on what your employer wants or how how you like to do this. So one way is the, the better way or the safer way. So when you go to put in a receptacle, um, let me just go grab one real quick over here, sorry about that. So when you go to put in a receptacle, there is two sets of screws right here for your neutral, two for your hots, golds are your hots, neutrals are your silvers. So when you go to put the plug in, you can either have the circuit running through the plug or you can have the plug not, the circuit running not through the plug. So what that means is I can just, when you go, when you come back to terminate this, once they got sheetrock on and everything, you can take your two wires here, your neutral and your hot, and you can put these on this screw right here, and then your two hots on this, these two screws over here. Um, so then if you take the plug out, everything else down the line isn't gonna work. So say this wire goes to another plug over on this stud over here. If I take this plug out, that plug is not going to work. Um, so the safest way to do this to make sure everything always works is just to wire nut and pigtail everything um, So the one way to do this is just to pigtail your grounds and then fold everything into the box and then have your plug or your circuit your plug running through the circuit um, And then I'll show you the second way right now, which is to just to pigtail everything and then you're good to go so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is just to take your uh, Romex pigtail right here and just pull all your wires out. So I just like to take my strippers and then just um, grab them and pull. So there's my ground, my neutral, and my hot. And then you have a piece of garbage. So once you get that done, you can take your strippers and strip this out. This is 14, so I'll put it on the 14. These are giving me a little bit of trouble. And I like to go more than, a, most people like to go like a half inch or whatnot or a quarter inch. But I, I'm more of like a three quarter guy myself. So I like to go more just to have a better connection. 
and that's all going to get covered in the wire nut anyways so once you put your wire nut on for example you're not going to see any of that copper so a little bit more copper never hurts anybody so the first thing you're going to want to do is i always fold fold my uh, neutral and hots out of the way and make sure everything make sure all the wires are not uh, crisscrossing each other so for example the the grounds always come through the middle of the romex so i always just um, take the other two wires make sure they're coming out straight fold them up if that makes sense to you um, so the grounds are just all by themselves going straight into the left corner over here because when you put your plug in to the box the ground is on the left and the neutrals are on the left hots are on the right so kind of just always go i've always done it this way is grounds grounds on the far left neutrals in the middle and hots on the right um, so once you get this part done uh, these are a little bit off length right here just because one is a little bit longer in the box so i'm just going to trim this down here and the length that you want to go with you can pick your own length however you want to do this um, the companies i've always worked for always just say four fingers and cut it um, and then once you're going to say oh there's not six inches in the box or there's not six inches out of the box well if you want to pull it out well there's your six inches so quit crying so once you got your grounds all um, in order and the same length um, I always just like to fold everything at a 90 degree angle just because it's easier for me to work with and then I'm going to put my three grounds together and twist the wire nut on and you might be crying right now saying hey why don't you pre-twist because that's not the way that I learned it and I think it's a waste of time and if you untwist the wire nut look at that everything is perfectly twisted together there is nothing wrong with not pre-twisting so I don't want to hear it if you have something to say about pre-twisting you can keep it to yourself so there is my grounds and then next I'm going to fold my neutrals um, next to the left or next to the grounds in the left corner as well and then I'm going to cut these the same length four fingers and then strip these out again about half an inch or three quarters of an inch and then take your pigtail that you got right here already stripped out put line all the ends up and then twist your wire nut on there and i do check these so it's not like oh i'm just gonna not pre-twist and not check these i actually didn't check the last one but i always pull on them like really hard to make sure a wire doesn't come out and if that does come out, then I'll redo it and then check it again. So um, literally I've only had a wire come out a couple times and that's usually dealing with stranded wires and this is solid wire. So um, that's all I got to say about that. And then lastly, you're gonna take your hot wires, your blacks, put them in, push them into the right corner of the box. Go with my four fingers over here, cut that off and then strip it out again and i do want to say if you're doing this in 12 wire the yellow romex once again um all right let me just say this one more time um so when you have your plug um because the 14 wires you can stab them in the back but uh, most people still like to put them on the screws just to have a better connection or i mean a more secure connection um so if you're doing um, 14 you can stab them in the back or you can put them on the screws um, but for two wires you can stab them in the back or put them on the side or one and one or whatever you want but um, so technically you can put four of the 14 gauges on one side of the neutral and on the hot but if you're doing just the 12 wire they don't fit in the back they don't make I don't believe they make the stabbing in the 12 the back the back stab ends for the 12s anymore the 12 gauge wire on a plug-in so you only have you only have two spots to put your put the wires on the screws um, so if you go three wires which will be the next video if we got three wires of 12 then you have to pigtail mandatory um, and but once again if you only have two wires of 12 or two wires of 14 
you don't have to, but it's just up to you and your employer what you're comfortable with. If you want a secure connection or if you want the circuit running through the plug, um, it just eliminates all the problems if you just wire nut them. So if I take the plug out, all these connections are still secure um, and nothing is ever gonna go wrong. Granted that you wired it right. And lastly, I did not grab a third wire nut. I don't think so. Let me just grab one more real quick. All right, so I got my third wire nut. Line up my hots real quick. And then just once again, twist those together. And we're not going crazy here with the twisting. Just like an inch of twisting, maybe two or three times. So like the ground is a little bit more over here, but you see some people who will twist this all the way back up into the box. And if you ever have to come back and fix that, it's an absolute nightmare or for the next person. So don't be a turkey to put it nicely for YouTube. Um, copy or yeah for YouTube monetization reasons don't be a turkey and just do it the right way and don't make a big stinking problem for the next person so once you get all these nice and tight have all three of these connected just gonna want to fold these up like an accordion so you have it um, in the left corner and then you're just gonna want to fold it up to the right corner and then back down to the left corner and you might be crying again hey don't put these upside down well that's the way that I do it um, if you, if you're worried about getting water in the box, I think you have a bigger problem. Um, but if you want to do this, so you have your wire nuts facing up, go for it. Um, it would probably be a good practice to learn. Um, I've never just really, I've always learned it this way and, uh, I should probably learn the other way, but I haven't. So take that with a grain of salt. Um, this is the way that I'm used to doing it. Um, so you're just going to fold all three of those up and then you're going to have those at the very far back once again to avoid problems and if you want them super far back you can take your hammer smash it in there and then they should be one after the other uh, let me unscrew this real quick so that it will look like that sorry there might be a lot of sun it's really sunny outside but so they'll look like that um, you'll have one there, one there, one there. Try not to overlap them, it makes it better. And then once again, you're just going to fold this down, fold this up, and then you are done. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed, so it's a little bit more difficult now. And then also squish that back as far as you can. And then you're gonna have a lot of clearance, so your, your wires will never get cut. And if you have to deal with a sheetrock or anything like that, like I said, don't put your wires at the front keep your wire safe and that should do it guys thanks for watching i appreciate it hopefully that was some good information for you guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe i'd love to see you guys back in the next video and i appreciate the support on the channel doing a giveaway here at 6000 which is less than 100 subscribers away so stay tuned for that and also doing the million giveaway the million view giveaway which i haven't done yet it's been like a month so there will be a second giveaway or a combined giveaway so stay tuned See you guys at 6,000 and we'll see what happens. Check the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks guys so much. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.